The animal kingdom is full of terrifying and deadly parasites. While there aren't any that'll eat their way out of a human's chest, unlike a certain sci-fi movie that makes us afraid, there is no shortage of parasitic animals that would love nothing more than to feed on you. These are the 13 most painful parasites that infect humans. Number 13. Tapeworms One of the most common parasites, tapeworms usually make their way inside the human body as hitchhikers alongside your lunch or dinner. These tiny, ribbon-like worms lurk inside the flesh of animals, commonly fish, beef, or pork. When you unwittingly consume them, these creatures don't get digested. They set up camp in the digestive tract and can live there for a long time. Their long bodies have hooks or suckers that embed themselves into the intestine, and then they get all their energy they need to live by absorbing part of your food. But they don't stay invisible for long. People who are infected with tapeworms soon report symptoms including nausea, vomiting, digestive issues, unexplained weight loss, and signs of malnutrition including dizziness. While most people eventually expel their tapeworm through their digestive tract, which can be a disgusting sight in the bathroom, they can survive for up to 25 years, and when ingested as eggs or larvae, the tapeworm can reproduce in the body. Larvae can turn into cysts that migrate through the body, even in the brain, where they can potentially cause serious illness or even death. This parasite is often invisible, but the next makes itself very well known. Number 12. Bed Bugs These little insects are the scourge of anyone who stayed in a hotel, tiny blood-sucking insects that are notoriously hard to find and eliminate. They spread in high-density areas and can hide in mattress seams or wall cracks. When they attach to a person, their bites cause a host of skin issues that become impossible to ignore. Skin rashes, blisters, and constant itchiness become a part of regular life until the bed bugs are eliminated, and more severe cases can result in fatigue and fever. While the insects aren't known to spread serious diseases, unlike other pesky blood-sucking insects, one of their biggest threats is causing allergic reactions. And while many exterminators will promise to get rid of a bed bug infestation, these little buggers can live up to 70 days without feeding and reproduce fast, making them likely to be unwelcome guests for a long time. These next parasites make their presence known in a very unpleasant way. Number 11. Pinworms Roundworms are a common species of parasitic worm that lay eggs in the body, but many of them don't pose a serious danger to humans. That's not to say you don't want to avoid them, especially the pinworm, a small worm that spreads via its eggs. It can be picked up via contact with the hands and then getting swallowed, and then it goes to where the sun don't shine. The pinworm likes to lay its eggs around the anus, and this causes a host of uncomfortable symptoms for unlucky humans. Pinworm hosts report itching around the anus, painful bowel movements, and difficulty sleeping due to constant annoyance. Fortunately, it can be treated with a number of medications, but the worm spreads so quickly that the doctors recommend everyone who lives with the infected take the medicine. This parasite is so common that it's estimated that 20% of children in the United States will get infected. Some roundworms, though, can cause much more serious infections. Number 10. Filarial Worms Everyone knows mosquitoes are annoying, but some can carry something far more dangerous. These pesky bloodsuckers are hosts to tiny roundworms that can cause a whole host of diseases. Mosquitoes are a common transmitter of plague, and the World Health Organization estimates that more than 120 million people have an infection of filarial worms. While many of them don't cause any symptoms at all, they have the nasty effect of clogging lymphatic vessels in some cases. Another variety affects the eyes. These worms can usually be treated with antiparasitic medication, but if left untreated can cause serious ailments. They're one of the world's leading causes of blindness and in severe cases can cause elephantitis syndrome, a disorder that causes extreme swelling due to the inability of the lymph glands to drain, mostly affecting the legs. The next parasitic worm has more aggressive tastes. Number 9. Hookworm The hookworm is a species of roundworm that's common in many countries around the world, especially those without access to clean water. The larvae infects people both orally and through the skin, at which point it sets up camp inside the human digestive tract for a feast. Pretty similar to other parasitic worms, except the hookworm doesn't want your food, it wants your blood. These worms latch onto the intestinal tract and start acting like a vampire, causing major health issues for the unfortunate host. If left untreated, it can cause abdominal pain, nausea, diarrhea, and most seriously, anemia that can result in weakness and other serious health conditions. This worm kills up to 60,000 people a year, and the good news is it's vulnerable to many antiparasitic medications, but it's hard to detect before it reaches maturity. But it's not the most deadly parasitic worm. Number 8. Whipworm The whipworm is a soil-based parasite 
that infects over half a billion people worldwide and is most spread by a contaminated soil and often eaten through fruits and vegetables. The eggs hatch and take up residence in the large intestine. While many cases are asymptomatic, those who have heavy infections can find themselves seriously sick. Not only do these worms wreak havoc on the digestive tract, but it can trigger more serious illnesses like appendicitis that require emergency surgery. Its most dangerous effect, though, may be on children. Kids who are infected can suffer delayed growth and cognitive impairment, as well as suffering from nutritional ailments. Experts estimate this worm kills upwards of 60,000 people a year, but like other parasitic worms, it can be killed off with antiparasitic medication. But the biggest challenge of battling these worms is preventing infections and treating people before they progress to serious cases. One worm makes its presence known with a name that says terror. Number 7. Dracunculus medinensis, or the guinea worm, translated as Little Dragon of the Mediterranean. The proper name of the guinea worm gives away that this worm is a killer. The female worms are among the largest worms that can infect humans, growing up to 31 inches in length, longer than many snakes as they slither around in the human gut. It's not surprising that they can cause excruciating pain. They infect people through contaminated drinking water and are most common in the rural areas of Africa and tropical regions like Southwest Asia and India. Once embedded in the human body, the effects can be deadly. These worms cause a secondary disease as the female worms try to emerge from the body through the skin. The chemical she releases can cause infections, nausea, blisters, and itching. But if she fails to emerge and gets stuck in the body, the worm can cause arthritis, paralysis, or severe swelling from the infection and resulting immune response. To treat this, doctors look for a blister where the worm's going to emerge and then use warm water to lure the worm out. They then slowly pull it out and wrap it around a stick. It can take several days to remove a full-sized guinea worm, followed by treatment with antibiotics and bandages. These next parasites don't wait for you to consume them. Number 6. Blood Fluke Everyone's scared of leeches, those predatory worms that latch onto your skin in water and start sucking your blood. But the blood fluke takes that nasty MO to the next level. After spending part of their life in a snail host, they lurk in the water and enter the skin of humans and proceed to feed on their blood. They can live for decades and can remain asymptomatic for years. But when things go bad, they go very bad. When they cause a series of infections called schistosomiasis, they can affect almost every part of the body. Their most serious symptom is swelling, which can cause long-term damage to glands and can even cause liver failure if left untreated. While the parasite can be treated with the same antiparasitic medications useful against other worms, these parasites are particularly common in Africa and are estimated to cause up to 200,000 deaths a year, making the blood fluke one of the deadliest parasites worldwide. The next parasite is much more visible and much more painful. Number 5. Jiggers Any dog or cat owner probably knows how annoying fleas are, constantly jumping everywhere and biting. But that's nothing compared to the sand flea, also known as the jigger. These fleas are common in Central and South America and have arrived in Sub-Saharan Africa. And they have a parasitic tactic that can make every step miserable. The smallest known flea, they lurk in the sand and attach to people as they burrow head first into the skin, usually on the foot. This causes swelling and lesions as the female swells up with eggs. This is just the beginning of the problem. It's common for the victims of jiggers to have dozens or even hundreds of them embedded in their feet. As the fleas die off, this can cause infection that results in pain, scabbing, dead skin, and permanent deformation of the toes. As pulling the fleas out can cause their bodies to tear and leave parts behind, jigger infestations are treated by a doctor to carefully remove any trace of the attached flea and disinfect the area, which can be a lengthy process. The next parasite also makes itself way too welcome in the human body. Number 4. The Human Bot Fly Flies usually do little more than buzz around you, making that annoying sound. But Dermatobia hominis, or the human bot fly, has a particularly invasive method of reproduction. Its eggs are carried by other insects like mosquitoes, which bite humans, transferring the eggs into the open wound. Then they hatch there, and the larva wedges itself into the human skin, growing there and creating a visible grub sticking out of the skin. Disgusting, but not dangerous, usually. The biggest danger the human bot fly poses is infection, because when you see a grub sticking out of your skin, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to try to pull it out. That's a mistake, because while the body breaks off and the grub dies, the head and jaws attaching it to the body stay in place. That becomes a vector for potentially deadly infection. The best way to safely remove a bot fly larva without medication or professional help? To suffocate it with a coating of petroleum jelly. After a day, it can be removed with tweezers. It makes sense that Australia would have deadly parasites, and the next one adds a killer kick to a common pest. 
Number 3. Australian Paralysis Tick Ticks are common parasites jumping from animal to human and sucking blood. While they're usually easy to remove with tweezers because they stay on the outside of the body, their main threat is a vector for deadly disease, including the potentially lethal Lyme disease. But one tick down under poses a bigger threat, one that can kill quickly. Not only can it cause allergic reactions, but it secretes a toxin that can cause neuromuscular function to fail. Within 8 to 12 hours of injection, paralysis can set in and even cause respiratory failure if it's allowed to progress. While these reactions aren't common, with only about 20 fatalities reported in Australia, this tick is one of Australia's most feared animals. And in the land of the bird-eating spiders, that's saying something. The penultimate parasite is invisible and deadly. Number 2. Brain-Eating Amoeba Not a true amoeba, but a tiny shape-shifting organism, this microscopic bacteria-eater lives in bodies of warm, fresh water. This means that it can be lurking anywhere people want to take a dip – rivers, lakes, wells, or even swimming pools that aren't treated with enough chlorine. While it doesn't function like other parasites and feed on humans long term, this organism has one major impact on humans. It causes a rare but almost invariably fatal brain infection that can kill a healthy person in days, and it's shown up in the happiest place on Earth. One of the earliest cases that brought this parasite to the public's attention was when a young boy died of the infection after swimming at Disney's River Country Water Park. The parasite enters through the nasal cavity, usually when swimming but occasionally through rinsing out the sinuses. It travels to the brain where it changes up its usual diet of bacteria and starts eating the brain's astrocytes and neurons. Symptoms appear an average of five days, and by then it's usually too late. While this parasite can't be spread between humans, it soon results in headaches, nausea, a stiff neck, decreasing brain function, seizures, and eventually death. But no parasite causes as much death as our number one. Number one, Malaria Plasmodium. When you think about the deadly disease malaria, you probably think about mosquitoes. These biting pests do spread the disease, but the actual cause of malaria is a single-celled parasite called Plasmodium. These protozoans enter the body through the mosquito's saliva, and they infect red blood cells. The cells swell and burst, infecting the bloodstream, thus spreading to mosquitoes when they bite a host containing the virus. This makes it one of the fastest spreading parasitic infections in the world, affecting up to 600 million people a year. And things can get bad for the unfortunate victims. Malaria starts with simple symptoms including fever and chills, but in some cases evolve into something deadly. Vomiting and severe sweating turn to anemia, seizures, and possible damage to the blood's vital organs and bloodstream. This can cause the victims to slip into a coma, suffer serious neurological issues, and potentially die. Several hundred thousand people die of malaria each year, most in the global south. And while no vaccine is available, treatments are available to lessen the severity of symptoms. The challenge is to outrace the fast-spreading parasite, which spreads as quickly as the mosquito flies. For more on tiny organisms that cause mass chaos, watch Why Spanish Flu Killed Over 50 Million People, Deadliest Plague in Modern History, or check out 13 Most Dangerous Animals in History for some larger predators.